What is up, everybody? Welcome to part three, step three. This is the final, final, final one um, for this three-part series. This right here, you guys, is how you get the damn thing done. This is how, how, how you just crush it, right? Just knowing the basic fundamentals of how to freaking run a Facebook ad. Um, now, again, as I mentioned in the previous two videos, and if you haven't watched them, the links are in the description. Step one, step two, now we're on step three, okay? But this entire campaign is for those that are looking to capture leads, make sales online, or even get people to schedule appointments. So if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, and you're running ads to get people to schedule an appointment, this right here has to be done, okay? Last but not least, this is step three. So what you're going to want to do is again come to your business page or come to your page your Facebook page business page personal page whatever click on add that's going to bring you back over here to the ads manager okay um, and all you're going to do and if you don't see it this way just go ahead and click on these three three or three click on these damn dots here at the top and what you're looking for is events manager what we're going to do is we're going to set up a custom conversion and the way I like to always explain this is with everything I mentioned. You're looking to capture a lead. You're looking to get people to schedule a call. You're looking to get people to buy your physical product or any product online, right? That's what this is all for. But, I, but the example I always use is I always say, okay, so with all that being said, what's your goal? Like I'll ask this question to a business owner after I just told them everything I told them, right? I'll say, John, okay, so with all that being said, what's your goal? Nine, nine out of 10 times, actually 10 out of 10 times, John will say, well, David, my goal is to get them to my damn page, right? Here's the page. There's the button. Opt in. That's my goal. I want people to opt in. Okay, cool. That's your goal. Facebook wants to know what your ultimate goal is. Like that's your goal. Okay. But what's your ultimate goal? Your ultimate goal is to get people to this page. Because once they come to this page and they hit the red button and they enter their name and email, they're then taken to the thanks for registering. The ultimate goal is to get people here. That's all Facebook wants to know, okay? So part one, step one, was to put our pixel on all these pages. Step two, yesterday's video, the link is in the, is in the description, was to create custom audiences so we could start segmenting all the people who are, who are landing on specific pages, right? Super powerful, super important. Watch those two videos. But now we're telling Facebook, okay, with all that being done already, the ultimate goal as I go and set up this next ad, my first ad, the ad that's going to crush it for me and bring in all this stuff that Dave is talking about, the ultimate goal is to get people here. That's what Facebook wants to know. And so with that, we have to set up a custom conversion. Okay. And that's based around the thank you page. So you have a thank you page for people opting in. They come to the landing page, they opt in, they go to the thank you page. That is what Facebook calls a conversion. And when people go and schedule a call with you and then they land on the appointment confirmed page, that's also a custom conversion. Okay. And so for those of you that are on Shopify or for those of you that are selling physical products on a website, or even digital products on a website, it does not matter. When a person goes to your page and enters their name and, name and number, or they go to your page and, enter, and they enter their credit card number, they click on purchase. They're taken to a thank you for purchase, purchasing page. It's that page we need, okay? So again, whether you're booking appointments, whether you're just capturing leads, or whether you're making sales, this custom conversion is based on that confirmation page. That's the ultimate goal. That is the custom conversion, okay? So in this case, what, I'll, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna create a custom conversion around everyone who lands on the thank you page. That is the goal. I need to get people here and I, and I need to tell Facebook about that, okay? So as I clicked on the dots, I clicked on events manager, it brought me here. And all I'm gonna do is click on custom conversions and this is a brand new account, as I mentioned before. And all I'm going to do is click on this blue button and create a custom conversion. Okay. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to hit this drop down. Contains is what I want. I'm going to paste in that link. It's for the thank you page right here. I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to put this one, ASEA product 
leads. That is the actual name of the custom conversion. So remember that name, okay? Remember that name as I go and set up the ad because that's what we're gonna see. I come over here, click create, and boom, we're done. Now I wanna create a custom conversion. So I just close this out right here. Now I wanna create a custom conversion around everyone who scheduled a call, okay? So as I mentioned in the first uh, cust or in yesterday's video, step two, grab the URL, but only grab it after the forward slash. You don't need the HTTPS. So just grab this part of the URL, copy that, and we're gonna come over here now, click the blue button over there, and we're gonna create this custom conversion, okay? So paste it in right there. Perfect. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna name this one ASEA Scheduled Appointments, okay? Now remember that name as well, okay? ASEA Scheduled Appointments, okay? So now we hit done. Now, here's what's gonna happen. We click done and done again. Now, because I just set it up, right? I just set it up right here in front of your eyes. The status shows no activity yet. No activity yet. The circles are gray, right? So what I gotta do is I gotta come over to those two pages and I need to refresh it. I'm gonna refresh it there. And then I'm gonna refresh the appointment confirmed page, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here to custom um, audience or custom conversions and I'm going to refresh this page. Now let's look at the status. Bam, active, active, ready to go you guys. Now also on the page, as I click on this pixel, it's also showing me the fact that it's now set up also as a custom conversion. ASEA product leads. I click on this pixel helper, ASEA scheduled appointments. So that data right there, installing the Facebook pixel helper, as I showed you in the previous video, install that Facebook pixel helper. I don't use it so I can know what websites are tracking me online. I don't care. I use it for my testing purposes. I wanna make sure that my pixel install correctly. I wanna make sure that my custom audiences, my custom conversions, I use it for those purposes. So I can, I can test my pages and make sure everything is set up correctly. So now they're active, they're set up, they're ready to go. Now it's game time. As I come over here and hit the ads manager, now I'm gonna come in here, click the green button, and we are ready to run a conversions ad. Now, I have two different custom conversions, right? I have one for scheduled appointments, everyone who landed on that confirmation page. I have one for the leads, everyone who landed on the thank you for registering page. Those are two different custom conversions. I can only use one at a time. So as my, as my data, as my pixel starts to get more data, right, as I start to run more leads or run more traffic and get more people to that thank you for registering page, the thank you page, leads. As I start to run more traffic and get people to schedule appointments, then I'll be, that, then that becomes part of my testing. One ad, I'll run a custom conversion to everyone who landed on the, on the thank you for registering page. I'll run a, a second ad set targeting those who landed on my scheduled appointment page, right? Or I can run them independently separately. So it's just the fact that that becomes a custom conversion and, and Facebook starts to know who I'm really looking to find. It's people who are likely to land on either of these pages, okay? So from here now, I'm gonna click the green button. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go to conversions. Now again, I keep repeating it, but if you need to check that box, check that box because if you don't and you're in one of these three categories your ad will get rejected okay so now i'm going to go conversions i'm going to scroll down i can i can name it whatever i want i always i i don't delete that conversions name i leave it there and i'll just name it you know something completely different i'll make sure that these two are shaded gray i'll hit continue now i'm in the second step which is the ad set this is where we get gangster with it now you guys okay so as I mentioned in, in yesterday's video, 
the custom audiences, scroll down. That's where I'll start playing around with the custom audiences. But again, it's only in, it's only on ad number two, three, four, and on is when I, is when I want to start including or excluding my custom audiences, right? Because right now on, on ad number one, none of these have any data anyways. So I don't need to worry about putting that in right now. Okay. But back up to the top, here is where we optimize for ad delivery. Let me close down window. This is freaking trash, man. Sorry about that. You guys damn trash, man. Freaking had to come right now and shit. Um, so right here, this is where it all happens, man. Right there. You'll see it red. Sometimes you'll see it green and the, and the conversion event is right there by default, but most of the time it'll be red. So you got to click on it. And what we're looking for is our custom conversion. Bam. There it is there. Bam. There it is there. So I can't run both of them at the same time, nor do I need to. It's one at a time. So right here, I'm telling Facebook my ultimate goal. As I mentioned, if I asked you what your goal was, your goal was to get people to, to the landing page to fill out the form. If I asked you what your ultimate goal is, your ultimate goal is to get them to that page, to the thank you for registering page, because anyone who lands on that page is a freaking lead, and that's our ultimate goal. So the way we have it set up right now is – letting Facebook know who we're looking for. We're looking for people who are likely to land on that page. And that's how, how it is, you guys. So you scroll through, set up all this, however the hell you want to set it up, target, gender, all that crap. And then you just go down to the third step, put your budget. And what I do in the budget is I go lifetime. So it, it, it equals out to the same dollar amount. If you're spending five bucks a day for 10 days, 50 bucks, and you go daily budget, okay, five bucks a day. I would rather go lifetime budget and put 50. Okay. So rather than $5 a day for 10 days, I go lifetime budget for 50 and then I'll just start and end the calendar for 10 days. So I'll go right there. Third to the third. That's seven, eight, nine, 10. I'll go right there. Actually, damn my bad. Well, shit, let's just, and, and that's why you got to always check the damn calendar. Cause they'll push you out a month. And it's like, dude, I don't want to run it a month, right? Um, you want to be running ads every week, a new ad every week. Um, so if I go, if I start it on June 13th, let's go back a month, start on the 13th, there's seven days, eight, nine, 10, run that to the 23rd. And I always set it at the same start date, same start time, I should say. And so here's the deal. Right now it's 1242 p.m. If it's any time after noon, if it's any time after 12, what I do nine, nine out of 10 times is I'll set it for the following day. So right now it is June 3rd. I would end up setting it for June 4th at 6 a.m. And that's, that's, that's going to be 6 a.m. your local time. Okay. So if it's past noon on the third, I always shoot for the fourth and set the calendar around that date. Okay, so there is the 11th, 7, 8, 9, 10. There goes my 10, 10 days, and there is my lifetime budget of 50 bucks. Okay, so that's how I would set it up. That way I give Facebook plenty of time to review the ad, plenty of time to approve the ad, and then boom, my ad starts the next day at 6 a.m. That's how I end up setting it up. All right, guys. So um, when it comes to the testing, a few bucks, man, five bucks. A lot of the, lot of, the, lot of the times, depend on what you're selling, man. Depend on the profit margin. The reason why I always love talking to people that that are selling something at high ticket, because you, if you're selling something at high ticket, don't come over here and think you can spend three bucks a day like even five bucks a day, like step your freaking game up. Like I talked to real estate agents, you guys are making seven, eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 per deal, but you're afraid to spend five bucks a day. It's like, holy shit, are you kidding me? Like, that's why I love my boy Marlon. Shout out to Marlon. He's making three, four, five grand per deal. He's willing to spend two, three, four grand a month to make it happen because he's making it per deal. And it's like, man, that's how you have to look at it. So whatever the hell you're selling, look at the profit margin. Some of you guys are selling random ass things on e-commerce websites and, and, and Shopify and your freaking profit margin is three bucks per unit. 
it's like, damn, dude, Facebook ads ain't going to work for you. Like you have to step your game up and you have to sell something at a higher ticket to make any of this stuff make sense. Like you have to be making at least a hundred dollar profit, at least a $50 profit, at least, let me put it this way. You want to be making at least a $20 profit. And here's where I'll end it. Cause this is, this is, this is real, real knowledge right here. Whatever the hell you're selling, you want to be making at least a minimum of a $20 profit margin minimum on whatever the hell you're selling minimum. Okay. Now, if you're looking to capture leads, then, okay, how much are we willing to, willing to pay per lead? That's how you have to look at it. How much am I willing to pay per lead? If I'm running and trying to capture leads, how much am I willing to pay per lead? Okay. But if I'm selling something, my minimum profit margin should be at least 20 bucks for Facebook ads to even make sense. Because if, if, if I'm selling something and my profit margin is $20, I can afford to spend $20 per day to at least make that happen. Because if I can spend 20 bucks a day and at least sell one, at least I break even. Now I have a customer. Now that person is in my, it is in my CRM, in my, in my, in my, in my email autoresponder. And now I can build a, a relationship with that new lead, AKA customer. I spent 20 bucks. I made 20 bucks. So I didn't lose anything, but I gained a new customer. And if I have more products and services to offer, I can always email that customer and offer them even more services to make even more money on the back end via email and not even have to waste ad money on them anymore because now they're in a custom audience and I can just exclude them from seeing any future ads. So you always want to spend whatever you can afford to make on that, on that deal. And, and that's why, again, I, I, I love real estate agents because if you're making 5,000 per deal, you should be spending thousands per month to make that happen. You should be spending 5,000. If you spent 5,000 a month, you were making five grand per deal. You close one deal, you break even. And I'm here to tell you there ain't one agent in the world spending 5,000 a month. I'm just giving you a, a freaking ballpark example and I'm trying to expand your brain on how you should be thinking of this stuff. Um, if I'm selling a thousand dollar course, I should be able to be, be able to spend a thousand dollars a day. I'm over here freaking pitching five bucks a day. What the hell is five bucks? That's not a lot of money now. Get nowadays, you guys. If you're running freaking a business, you got to be willing to spend on advertising. And that's why I tell people all the time: your your two expenses in 2020 when it comes to marketing your business should be Facebook ads and your landing page software. That is it, dude. Cancel everything else you're doing. Whatever the hell you're spending money on cancel it. Facebook ads, landing page software. And I also tell my clients, I'm like, dude, if you need to go have a, if you need to go start a part-time job, if you need, if you need to have a part-time hustle online, if you need, you need, if you need to have a freaking garage sale every freaking weekend, if you need, if you need to stop going to Starbucks, if you need to start, stop freaking spending so much money on fast food and going to dinner every damn night, if you have to cut expenses in any way to be able to have a Facebook ad budget in 2020 to build your business, you have to do that. Bottom line. So if you guys that are building businesses think you can just continue to post on social media you're going to continue to get what you're getting, which after speaking to thousands of you guys, that ain't much. You guys ain't getting much. So you have to look at this in, 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 a, in, a, in a realistic way and, be, and, and, and break down your profit margins and look at that per day on your budget. Okay. So I hope that helped you guys. And again, if you didn't watch step one, step two, those links are in the description. This was a, a three-part series on the first three steps that you must implement to start running effective Facebook ads. All right, guys. So hopefully that makes sense. If you guys are new to the channel, freaking subscribe, dude. If you watched all these damn videos and you haven't subscribed, please freaking subscribe. I'm dropping daily videos on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building the damn thing and making it happen every single day. So subscribe, like, share these videos if you find them valuable, man, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys, over and out. I'll see you in the next video.